Good afternoon, my friends. Dan and I decided to go for a walk. You can see Dan's rig over there, and my one is the raven is parked there behind the bushes. And as always here in the Netherlands, there's water absolutely everywhere. We just crossed this bridge. But yeah, it's really beautiful area. So uh, I'm going to bring you guys for this walk. And Dan and I, we just talked about, for me, it's very unusual. There's absolutely no wind. I did not even bring the the extra microphone with the wind muff. <laughs> it's just, it never happens. And of course, we also brought Dan's little friend here. <laughs> Then who is it? You are, you are. Yeah, that's right. Your little. He's a rescue, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he was from. Uh, from Romania. From Romania, okay. And he lived in a shelter down there for two years, before, before Dan found him. Yeah. And you just saw right away that that was. <laughs> that was your. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I do make a little bit fun of it because, you know, usually people say that the owner and the dog, they look alike. In this case, very much so. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's nice. It's understandable that there's a bench right here. Yeah, that's right. It, you feel it when you walk, it's kind of Because this whole moving. area is uh, it's not solid ground. Okay. So it's um, it's kind of floating. So it's, it's dead trees and all kinds of stuff. Ah, yeah. And so it's, it's all uh, organic on material. The water, all on the water. <coughs> Yeah, it's kind of a floating uh, situation, and uh, uh, all these these waters here in this area, this is where they cut it away, and they dried it, and they use it uh, for burning stoves. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. So it's it's, it's um, turf, in Dutch, turf or, or in in English, I think it's called peat. Yeah, peat. Yeah, yeah that's the word. Um, Okay, so all the holes in between are all the waterways. That's where they cut the peat yep. in the old days. You can still feel it. It's not solid. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Now that's neat. And it's very exciting. <laughs> For the dog, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of new smells. Huh? I'll allow him a bit of <laughs> leeway, but yeah. now we're going to walk. We're going to go on the short leaves. <coughs> now he's on the short leaves. Yeah, Pepe, good doggy. But you say you don't know if Pepe was a street dog, but you don't think so. I don't think so, because he knows always to walk on the right side. Yeah. Yeah, he walked very nicely. Yeah. And actually, you don't... Uh, he walked right next to you without you having to correct him or anything. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's hard to understand why anyone would give up a, a nice dog like that. Yeah. You know, poor countries. Yeah. Maybe they couldn't afford the food. Oh, he has another bench. Yeah. Well, and again... A beautiful view mm -hmm. and a small bridge over there. Yeah. And lotus flowers here in the f foreground. Yeah, small water lilies. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, it's nice. And you know what? I noticed there's no garbage. Yeah. Like, can be done. <laughs> yeah. I guess it. No, this is from garden. Ah, okay. This is also for all the mosquitoes. 
You see, there's actually a house in there. Yeah. And then they have the water around the garden. That's really neat. If this was in Florida or something, <laughs> it would be yeah. alligators everywhere. Yeah, that's mm. true. But I guess the Netherlands is pretty much like Denmark. There's no dangerous animals. Maybe some snakes or something. Yeah, but not really dangerous, right? Yeah, exactly. Oi, a bit swampy here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I stepped in something too. Oh yeah, that's... Oh wow. I feel it all the way over here. Yeah, that's cool, huh? Yeah. Wow. Pepe, Pepe, Pepe. How does he feel about water? Does he go swim no, sometimes? He doesn't care about it. Hmm. Oh yeah. His feet are getting wet. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really flexing when we walk. It's yeah. incredible. But yeah, when you were standing, you just kind of slowly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very <laughs> easy to feel. That's, uh, and when you were standing, you were sinking slowly. Yeah. That's crazy, I never tried that before. We have uh, places where they duck for, for peat in Denmark too, but not like this. This is uh, pretty unique. My aunt and my uncle, they have a house, like an old farm. Yeah? Also uh, built on peat. Uh huh. And sometimes I park there for, for a few days. Yeah. And uh, I've had it one time with a lot of rain, and uh, you know the pumps and the old, and the old uh, windmills, mm. they couldn't manage to uh, to get all the water out on time. No. So the water level on the parking area just rose by 10 centimeters, and in the morning I was like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So yeah, all of a sudden. Went away at the end of the day, but uh, yeah. So all of a sudden you were parked in water yeah. instead of. Uh. <coughs> well, it is. That's that's the thing about the Netherlands because the country, I guess, most of the country, is below sea level. Yeah, no doubt about that. It's about six, uh, meters here. six meters below sea level. Wow. Yeah. And of course, because of that, then the, there's water absolutely everywhere. And then, as you say, you have there's pumps everywhere to pump water away so that it will stay dry. Yeah. Yeah. So it is kind of this relationship to water that it's it's kind of your your friend and your enemy at the same time. Yeah. Huh? That's when they get too big, they cut them down. Ah. Okay. So I see the big ones cut down. Then they cut them down and... The ground wouldn't support Ah, the it. ground doesn't support now. Of course. So when they're too weak, they cut them and then they just leave them. Yeah. So they... So they can turn into more peat. But they don't dig, they don't dig for peat anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, a yeah. nice mushroom. Well, that's an information board here, yeah. but it's all in Dutch, so. Uh, to explain how 
I use the peat and put it on the dry spots to dry out. Oh. And those have never been uh, cut down. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty unique. That's quite a big area where they where they did that. I think something like twenty kilometers over. Okay. Twenty kilometers. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's a nice bridge. Yeah, we are back at the vehicles and this was where we crossed over the, the bridge to to the peat area. Really beautiful. Well, let's go back. So, we're getting ready to drive out from here and uh, it is really a beautiful a beautiful place just with fields and everything around and there's this very sweet smell and we just read on a sign that it's some plants that back in the old days the monks they planted to use for uh, brewing beer so there's a very nice sweet smell around this area But yeah, the Raven is parked a little crooked. It's, we park here at the side of the road. And as you can, yeah, I think you can see that Dan had put a set of wheels on the asphalt to straighten it up because at first he was parked like, like the Raven and he was basically blocking the road with the top of his car. So, so it was better that he took a little bit of the road for... So, there we go. Arriving at Dan's workshop here, and this here we drive into now is actually a private area. He's renting a shipping container from a farmer, so uh, this is where he do the work on the on Wangenstein down in this place. And you have to put blocks under the under the wheels because it's sloping. Turn around so I
Ja, klar, klar. And I need to go help him. You see this here? Well, getting water ready for a shower. This is my solar shower. I put there because it's more direct towards the sun. So uh, it's gonna be nice with the shower. You want to put your one on the front of my car as well? Just put it up with the clear side. Yeah, exactly. The clear side towards the sun. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> we finished the work here at the, here at the farm uh, on Dan's rig. We uh, didn't do much today actually, and we had planned to do uh, to uh, take a shower, a solar shower out here, but uh, the water didn't heat up enough for it. So we're gonna bring them. But we have a solar shower each, so we're gonna bring them and then we're gonna do it at the camper spot. Um, but we will go to the shop first now. We need to do some shopping, both of us. We're running low on food. Actually, my fridge is completely empty, so... Uh, so we're just gonna drive to the shop now. When when Dan is ready, man. I don't know. Not sure what he's doing in there. The other way, go to Woerden, it's yeah. 12 and a half kilometers, 13 kilometers. Yeah. And there's a big Lidl, okay. a large Lidl, uh, with better stuff. Yeah. And there's a camp spot there, uh, but also um, a little bit further there's a camp spot. Yeah, I've never been there, so maybe not. A little bit back, there's also a camp spot. Yeah. So we can go there, go, go a little mm. bit back, stay there for the night, and then tomorrow go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, do sure, let's do that. partly on the way. Exactly. But not, exactly. Uh, not I just uh, follow you. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yep. So, new plan. <laughs> We're not going back to the to the camper spot where we stayed last night. We're gonna to a different one that he just found. But we need to go, as I said, we need to go to the supermarket first. So uh, I'll just go follow Dan and, uh, and let's see where he take me. You see the little building here on the left? That's a pump uh, station that pumps the water from below up in the canal here on the side of the road. So they move a lot of water in this country. Good evening, my friends. Well, we have found a boondogging spot for tonight. And we sit here and enjoy the sunset. It's 
quite beautiful actually. You see, right here next to me, <laughs> you got Dan and his uh, house. <laughs> your, your rig is actually big like a house. <laughs> And then here on the ground in front of us. Our fur friend. <laughs> yeah. Pepe. 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 And as you can see, he Pepe. really listened to his daddy. Pepe. <laughs> he is actually very well behaved, just not right now. Yeah. <laughs> Never when on a go going on video or a picture. No. Yeah. I think I will end the video here then. It was a great day. And uh, we didn't get a lot of job done on his, uh, on Dan's rig, but a little bit. And also Dan had to work. He had some, uh, what was it, some website you had to do today? Oh, um he had to make some money, you know. But now we just sit here and enjoy the sunset and uh, just had some, some dinner. And, uh, well, I hope you guys have a great day as well. I hope you take care. And uh, remember, life is good. Bye-bye.